Amnesia, a memory disorder. Amnesia is a type of memory disorder where you start losing memories. People with amnesia are unable to form new memories or they are unable to recall past experiences. Patients with amnesia only retain their identities and their knowledge regarding motor skills. Mild loss of memories is a part of the aging process, but if you start losing a significant amount of memories and are unable to form new ones, then this is amnesia. There are various forms of amnesia, such as retrograde amnesia, where you lose your existing memories. This amnesia affects recently formed memories, childhood memories, and others. Anterograde amnesia is the one where you are unable to create new memories, and it might be temporary. Transient global amnesia is the one where you experience agitation and confusion repeatedly over a few hours. You undergo memory loss within a few hours of the attack, or you are unable to create any memories of the personal experience. This type of amnesia usually occurs due to the seizures or specific blockage within the blood vessels around the brain. Infantile amnesia is the one where you are unable to remember your childhood, for example, the years from age 3 to 5. The following are the symptoms of amnesia. Memory loss, unable to form new memories, challenging to recall the past facts, places, events, and specific details regarding an experience. You retain motor skills but are unable to remember new memories. The causes of amnesia include dementia, which depends on the age of your brain. You start losing old memories once your mind starts undergoing deterioration. It commonly occurs in conditions like Alzheimer's disease and other diseases with dementia. Anoxia is a condition where the person is deprived of enough amounts of oxygen supply and starts losing memories. If anoxia is for the time being, it can result in temporary memory loss, but in severe cases, it can result in brain damage. Any injury or damage to the hippocampus can also result in amnesia. The hippocampus is the part of the brain which is responsible for forming memories. It is a vital part of the brain involved in organizing memories, creating new memories, and retrieving old information when necessary. The cells of the hippocampus need a high enough amount of energy and oxygen supply to work effectively. If a person undergoes anoxia or is exposed to certain toxins in the environment, this area is the first one to be affected. When the hippocampus is damaged, you are unable to form new memories, and if it is damaged on both halves of the brain, it leads to anterograde amnesia. Trauma, head injuries, or stressful situations can also lead to amnesia. Your mind starts rejecting any information, thoughts, or feelings which are overwhelming. Head injuries, however, can cause excessive damage to the brain, leading to permanent memory loss. The use of alcohol can also lead to amnesia, however, it is temporary amnesia, which is the anterior grade type. In long-term alcoholics, it results in the Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, where you are unable to form new memories. Amnesia can be diagnosed by a healthcare professional where they start evaluating your symptoms. They ask you about memory loss and recommend you undergo some cognitive tests where your memory can be checked. These diagnostic tests include CT scan, MRI, and blood tests to check for any nutritional deficiency or brain damage. The treatment of amnesia varies from person to person, depending on the cause and severity of the condition. Try adopting a healthy lifestyle and select occupational therapy where you start learning new skills and information regarding a daily routine. A therapist begins teaching you new ways to make new memories and learn techniques to organize information.